This will all make sense in a minute. You may have seen my earlier videos on the Mevo Start camera. The Mevo Start is a live streaming camera that when paired with your smartphone or tablet, allows you to live stream from anywhere that you have an internet connection, Wi-Fi or cellular. A while ago, Mevo introduced the Mevo Multicam app, allowing you to connect up to three Mevo Start cameras for a multicam experience, switching camera angles on your phone or on your tablet. But now, Mevo has released an update to that app that allows you to connect unlimited cameras. The limitation is actually only driven by the hardware that's driving the software, your phone or your tablet. As you can see here, I already have six cameras connected. There's camera one, two, three, four, five, and six. But if you look at the Mevos in front of me, you'll see that I have seven of them. So let's get this last one online as well. I'll go ahead and power it up and let's add it to the list. To add a camera, tap on the plus button, then camera, and then look at the bottom of the list for any new cameras. There's number seven, I'll tap setup. Yes, I have Wi-Fi. next, and then choose the network I wanna connect it to. And once it's added to the network, tap connect and continue. And there's my new camera added to the multicam set. And that's pretty much what you need to know. Unlimited Mevo Star cameras in Mevo Multicam. But just looking at it here in the studio, this is a little bit boring. So I have an idea, hold on a second. Hey, Photo Joseph. Hey, Derek. Awesome, it looks like you're racing. Dude, can I come visit you and bring some cameras? I wanna show you something that I think your fans are gonna love. Sure thing, we're out at Road America, yeah? come on out. All right, I'll be on my way. You hear that, folks? Looks like we're going to Milwaukee. I'm now at Road America in Wisconsin. My friend Derek DeBoer, driver for the racing group, or TRG, <laughs> you can hear those cars going behind me, is doing some practice runs right now. And we're gonna be setting up this set of Mevo Star cameras to do a live stream from the pit. To mount the cameras, I used a mixed bag of clamps and magic arms, mostly suspended from the canopy to point the cameras where needed and to be able to quickly reposition them during the event. Here's camera one pointing at the pit boss and camera two pointing to the crew area. Number three is pointing at the front of the car where it pulls in. Four is down low and might be in the way but can easily be moved. And five is pointing at the back of the car as it pulls in. But I quickly realized that these had to be constantly repositioned as the cars never stopped in the same place. Another one pointing back at the crew table. And finally, this last one from behind held in place with a little gaff table. And here's the Mevo Start Multicam setup. You can see all seven cameras feeding into the app perfectly, and it's live streaming a test to a private stream and recording to the micro SD card in each camera. So you can always recut the show later from the highest quality recording. Check out some of this original Mevo footage. You can choose which cameras you want audio feeding from, adjust their levels individually, and even choose the audio processing that best suits the situation per camera. You can tap any camera to take it live, or the Mevo Multicam app has an auto director mode, which lets the app switch angles automatically, and you can even designate two preferred angles for it to spend more time on. Auto director is fantastic when not much is going on and you wanna be hands-free, but when something important happens, you can just tap any camera to manually override Auto Director. And then if you ignore it for a bit, Auto Director will take over again. Multicam live streaming really couldn't be easier. The ability to go live super easily from essentially as many cameras as you want is pretty awesome. If you're streaming from a location that already has Wi-Fi, like your home or office or house of worship, then all you need is a bunch of Mevo Start cameras and a device to control them with. Now at the racetrack, we didn't actually have a Wi-Fi network. I had to build my own network using a dedicated Wi-Fi router and a cellular modem. If you're interested in learning more about that, I encourage you to join my private Discord. There's information on that down below the like button. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.